Hi everyone and welcome to a brand new episode with me Danny and Google Tag Manager. Today I will talk about containers inside of Google Tag Manager. It's a great concept and it's very useful. First of all, what are Google Tag Manager containers? They are buckets that allows you to uh, put your assets, whether it's tags, triggers, or even variables into one location. You can have multiple containers within your account in Google Tag Manager. And it's really important to know when you need to use them. So here's the question. You are best off using them when your website is really huge. When you have multiple assets, probably you have subdomains, and each subdomain is being uh, managed by a completely different department or maybe outsourced. So in that case, you probably want to start using containers. So you would allocate a certain container for local assets and then give uh, another container, let's say you have a subdomain that is called membercenter.newsoon.com. Uh, in that case, the member center subdomain would be a container of its own and all the tags that need to go under that subdomain can live within that uh, container. So next, why do we need to use containers? Well, again, separation of concerns. It's very important to give access to the right people in doing the things they need to do and separate their tags, their configuration from other departments' tags. You probably don't want conflicting things and containers is a great way of making that separation happen. And finally, how do we go about using containers? Let's head straight into our Google Tag Manager administration. And as you can see here, I have newsoon.com. That's the first container. There is a one that I've created a while ago, which is for members.newsoon.com. Let's create a new one. Again, I'm keeping it to a subdomain, so I might have a, a subdomain which is called newsletter. Dot newsoon.com. Newsletter is being managed by a group or a department that is in a completely separate building and maybe the, the team members don't even know each other. It's a completely different initiative in our company and it really needs to reside in its own container. It's a web container, so I'm creating it. And notice now what happens. The first thing I get from Google Tag Manager is a new installation code. So it's important to know that for each and every container, you have a different code that you need to put in your header of your uh, templates, of your HTML templates. So this is one of the distinctions made uh, that you need to know. So once you go and copy uh, all the information and put it in your header, you're good and the container can uh, start functioning uh, in its own right. Now, uh, what can we do about uh, containers? How do we see them? We can always go to our uh, admin and select the container that we want to work with right from here. And then the other thing that we need to be aware of is the concept of containers and their use uh, for importing and exporting container files. There's a different concept, but it's really important to understand it. Google Tag Manager allows you to um, automate some of the work that you do manually and export it in the form of a container file. It's literally a JSON file that contains all your triggers and tags and variables that you've manually developed inside of your container. So you can export that file and give it to a different uh, department if they want to reuse some of the work that you've done. It's a great way of doing automation and keeping your uh, development really at a fast pace. And uh, this is how it's done. You can literally select the container that you're talking about or the container in question and then click on export container. And then you can just uh, choose which version you want to export and also uh, from which workspace. But I'm interested now in showing you the import container, the reverse uh, part of the export. So what that means is somebody has created something for me 
a JSON file, a container file that I can literally import and use inside of my Google Tag Manager without having to worry about how to create things manually. And this is exactly what we'll do. And, uh, and then after we do the import, I'm going to end the uh, this episode and we I'll see you in another episode where we'll talk specifically about this very important container which we are about to import. Let's see. This uh, container file has been created uh, by Dan Wil uh, Wilson. This container file has been created by Dan Wilkerson from Luna Metrics. And all we have to do is choose the container file. I've put it here on my desktop. There it is. And then it's asking me to choose the workspace that I need to work with. I'm going to select existing. Or on a second thought, let's uh, choose new. Because what we want to do is we want to see what this particular uh, import is going to create. I don't want it to be polluted with my earlier uh, created uh, tags and triggers. So I'm calling this particular uh, workspace sandbox workspace and I'm saving it. And I'm choosing, uh, you can choose either to overwrite or merge. I'm choosing merge. And then I'm choosing rename conflicting tags in case we have any. And here is where the JSON file unfolds and shows you that you have two tags, one trigger, and three variables. This is what our container file is going to uh, look like. And then confirm. Wait a few uh, seconds. And there you go. Let's go, now we are in our default workspace. Obviously we, uh, we have imported it into Sandbox, so I'm going into Sandbox. And you can literally see what has been created. I have two tags, three variables, and one trigger. And this all came automatically by simply importing an existing recipe or an existing container file from out on the web, somebody has done something good for us. And in the next episode, I'm going into this particular tags and triggers to show you what a great uh, use for containers could be and how of a lifesaver it can be. So I hope you enjoyed today's episode of Google Tag Manager. And uh, until a new episode with me, Danny, uh, don't forget, like this video if you enjoyed it and also subscribe. Until a new episode, take care.